y'all. Give me one quick second. We need to have a little, little powwow, a little discussion. So, y'all have seen beauty regimens before. Ooh, got some soap in my mouth. I bought this from this girl. I forgot what her name is, but I'll tag her. It's a uh, turmeric and sage and some other type of uh facial soap trying to support my uh my black folks but uh we gonna get into some stuff real quick and uh you know it had to be serious if i bring you into my beauty regimen so uh we're gonna talk while i uh do this so give me one second one second because this is important psa for y'all Okay, so listen, I'm one of the people, I feel like y'all should know me well, real well, especially if you have known me probably for over, I would say five years, but I have shown folks who I really am, which I mean, I do that all the time, upon first meeting me, so there should be absolutely no reason why anybody on this bitch should not know who I am. I look so bad. Hold on. So. I'm one of them people where. If I don't like some shit. I'm just going to bypass it on your page. I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to say anything. Because. One. As drama field as I am, I don't like drama. I would say I am more dramatic than anything, but I do not like drama. It brings on a lot of unnecessary anxiety for me. Thank you for holding. So, when I post stuff on my page, this is going to probably be a lengthy PSA, and I don't care who watches it and who does. Y'all can share, like, comment. Don't come up on here, though, trying to call yourself um, chastising or trying to argue for whatever reason. Y'all need to get y'all one of these um, these jade rollers. It helps for uh, dark circles and uh, wrinkles and stuff. This is why I can keep my... my young looking skin seeing that 40 is approaching anyway so uh yes y'all uh <laughs> never cease to amaze me one let's just go ahead and get to this if you are a trump supporter and i have trump supporters or had trump supporters on my page that i knew that were openly supporting trump i have already deleted them off my page i don't care whether you are family of your friend you're an acquaintance you're somebody you went to church with i don't care i have already deleted you off my page the people that i know the people that i don't know that support trump please delete yourself i don't care if you've known me for 20 plus years delete your fucking self because you and i have nothing in common nothing i don't care if we like tacos I don't care if we went to the same high school. I don't care if we have the same friends. I don't care about none of that. If you support Trump, you don't support me. Point blank, period. And you don't have to like it because I said what the fuck I said. One. Two. Um, you know, like I said, when I post stuff on my page, if you don't like what I post, don't comment. Keep scrolling. If you don't like the content of things that I am posting during this time, don't comment delete yourself don't even unfollow me just delete yourself okay because i'm not gonna come and go back and forth with any motherfucking body about the shit that i feel about what i post there are some things that i do post and i post because i see it and i'd be like oh that's a mess and i post it sometimes i don't fact fact check it when i do post it and so there'll be some things sometimes in the content that i post that might not be completely accurate or all the way true but i posted it because i felt some type of way about it you don't have to feel some type of way about it. I don't need nobody coming on my page, fact checking me, telling me whatever. If you feel that way, then delete yourself or go post it on your page with the correct facts. I don't care. 
But what I'm not going to do, and I'm not arguing with no motherfucking body on this shit, because this is my fucking page. And what's going to happen is, is one, I'm going to start disabling my comments so nobody can say shit. And then nobody can really tell me fucking nothing. Y'all can't tell me shit now. But I'm not going back and forth for no motherfucking body. No more. From this point forward. Y'all got me on here showing my whole motherfucking ass. And I told y'all before, I'm not going to be censoring myself for nobody. I don't give a fuck about who feelings this fucking hurt. Like I said before, don't ever in your fucking life think you're going to come on my page and check me about shit. If I posted it, I posted it because I fucking wanted to. Period, poop. So, I don't know why I always think about this after the fact. I really, really, really should have went live because I want y'all to speak on what you want. But like I said, today, I'm going to be protecting my peace and I'm not going to be arguing or going back and forth with anybody about any of the shit that I'm saying. Guess it's kind of my way of saying, like I said, I said what I said and you don't get a chance to have a rebuttal. If you come on my page or come on this this post and try to rebut me, you can uh, use your imagination on what I'm going to do. I won't make you Facebook famous today. You just might not exist on my page no more. I don't know why y'all motherfuckers continuously try to try me. I don't know if it's because y'all, I done made y'all, I don't think I done made y'all motherfuckers too comfortable. I've made y'all too comfortable. And I'm going to have to start making y'all real uncomfortable. Don't come for me. Don't come check me. Don't say nothing to me. I have been in the mood. Promise. Promise. I've been in the mood. And not so much because of all of the stuff that's happened in the world. But just, I'm tired of folks' foolishness, period. I have let y'all think that, oh, Keisha is so funny. I'm just going to go on Keisha page, say what I want to say. I don't come on y'all pages and say what I want to say about y'all foolishness. I don't care about y'all not wanting to do certain stuff, not wanting to wear masks, not wanting to do this, not wanting to send your kids certain places, not wanting to, you know, come outside, not wanting to, I mean, wanting to stay quarantined. I mean, you could do all of that. Because that's your business in my, you know, Auntie Tab voice. Because that's your business. Y'all do what y'all want because that's your business, huh? It's the same way that I do whatever the fuck I want because that's my business. And you should mind the business that pays you. Because I'm not paying not everybody over here except for me. Once you get that down... And you see where I'm coming from. And you, you, you understand. And I think at that point then we'll have an understanding. But if we don't have an understanding. I mean delete yourself. I'm going to be real honest with you. I am anti-Trump if y'all haven't known. Oh baby this need to lay down. Okay. Anything that I find about Trump that's negative I'm going to post it. You want to know why? Because I don't like him. I don't give a fuck if the shit's true or not. You could say, oh, oh, Keisha, that's not right. Mm, a lot of shit in the world ain't right, but it is what it is, right? So, if I post stuff about Trump, whether it be true or not, or whether I have completely fact-checked it, or whether it's semi-true, guess what? I posted it. Y'all have not been able to be with me when I have done a full beauty tutorial. Y'all have seen me wrap my hair. You've seen me do a face mask or two, I think. Um, but, um, I mean, the same way that he talks about my president, Obama, to this day, and the man ain't even in office and has not been in office in four years. And the way he still talk about him like a dog. I'm going to do his ass the same goddamn way. I mean, you like I said, you don't have to like nothing that I post. You don't have to like nothing that I do. Half, I'm half of y'all entertainment anyway, so you ain't going to delete me. I can tell somebody about themselves and tell them, tell them uh, get on their whole helmet. As I have past couple weeks. And y'all still here. Look at y'all loyal folks. I don't need you to be loyal, though. You don't got to be here. 
I love y'all, but I don't. You ain't got to be here. You ain't got to like none of the stuff I say. You ain't got to like the shit I do, like I said. I don't want to have too many more of these motherfucking conversations. I have already started to delete, to delete people. Left and right. Folks showing me their true colors. And they've been deleted. I don't have no patience for it. I don't have no time for it. Although we are not quarantined out here in Texas anymore. I have still have time to delete and still have time to do the shit that I want to do as far as lurk on your page, see what you post, and if I don't like it, I delete you without warning. And I'm not going to come and say, hey, you should delete that off your page. You want to know why? Because I don't care. I've been page watching since all of this stuff has gone down. A lot of y'all have shown me who y'all really are. And I truly appreciate that. By you not speaking on the injustice, by you not posting, by you not doing anything, you know. I had somebody tell me, oh, you did that last PSA and the way that you was talking about white folks and all the extra shit. That's all right. I wasn't going to do a PSA about y'all sleep ass black folks, sheep. The sheep that go along and do whatever. The sheep that say whatever. The sheep that don't say shit. The sheep that just go on by and, you know, let shit do whatever. And then the sheep that say stuff once somebody says, why ain't you said something? Then they want to come and say something. Because they want to make it seem as if they are for the cause. Baby, you ought to let me know that you was not for the cause. Okay? Okay, Miss Charlene. We're going to be good today. Oh, Miss Charlene got some stuff going on back here. Anyway, I'm going to get up off this PSA because it wasn't supposed to be funny. I'm dead ass serious. I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. <laughs> I'm tired of y'all. I ain't taking no social media break. Like I said, I'm still going to do whatever the fuck I want to do and say whatever I say. And if y'all don't like it, you don't have to like it. But all this coming on my page trying to have arguments and shit. Why? Who is it going to, uh, what's it going to do? Make you feel better? 716 CBD. Y'all should try it. Sherry Butter is uh, pretty amazing. So, we're not lining lips and stuff today. Um, What I'm getting ready to do is uh, go and get in the streets and do some shit. Because that's my business. But I want y'all to take this uh, nugget away today. Whatever you do is most definitely your business. And mind the business that pays you. You ain't got to like the stuff that I say. You ain't got to like the stuff that I do. You ain't got to like none of it. I want y'all to stop trying me though. Because from this point forward, I'm going to start making examples out of y'all asses. I told y'all before I get off on that shit. All right. Y'all have a really good day and have a really good productive Taco Tuesday because I know I am. About to go get me some tacos and uh, about to go and um, get me a daiquiri or something and enjoy the rest of my day because it's like 99 degrees outside. Okay. I was going to say if you have any comments or anything, say so. don't say shit. Just don't. Okay. And if you have to ask who this was for, probably was for you. Hit dog going always holler. And if it doesn't pertain, doesn't apply, let it fly. If the shoe fits. Switches.